After 15 years in the dark, I was illuminated. It took prison for me to find liberation. Our chains are only as strong as we think they are. Chains build revolutions, one link at a time. See the remnants of my bondage, and know you can be free. Those who wait to be freed do not deserve freedom. I am no traitor. I am the true Damasia. I was born a mage. Damasia made me a criminal. Rise up, brothers and sisters! Whatever they bring, I'll match it. That which restrains us begs to be broken. The great mage rebellion starts now. No more kings, no more queens, no more mage seekers. It all ends now. They can't hang us all. Magic cannot be caged. As Silas shouted for rebellion and revolution, his mind drifted back to where it all began. Born the child of a poor Damasian family, Silas of Dregborn was perhaps doomed from the start. His parents were firm believers in Damasian ideals, so when they discovered their son was afflicted with magical abilities, they convinced him to turn himself over to the kingdom's mage seekers. Silas was used by the mage seekers, taking his ability to sense magic and hunting down other mages who lived within Demacia. At first, Silas was happy. He could service his country while taking care of his family. But times change. He was forbidden from associating with anyone but his handlers. And as time went on, he began to notice that magic was far more prevalent than Damasia cared to admit. Among the wealthy and prominent, there were hints of magic everywhere, even among some of whom were the most outspoken about their hatred for magic. While the poor were punished for their afflictions, the elite seemed to be above the very law that they insisted was the salvation of this country. It was this hypocrisy that planted the first seeds of doubt inside Silas. These seeds would finally blossom on one deadly, yet faithful evening, when Silas and his handlers encountered a small child in the countryside, whom had been born with the affliction. She was so helpless, and Silas took pity on her, stepping in to shield her from the mage seekers. He accidentally brushed against her skin, and the girl's magic coursed through Silas's body like an untamed rage. But rather than killing him, it shot forth from his hands in raw, uncontrolled bursts. It was a talent he did not know he possessed, and yet it resulted in the deaths of the child, her father, and his own mage seeker mentor. Silas knew he would be called a murderer, so he went on the run. Though it was not long before the Mage Seekers came for him, though he was just a youth, they showed no mercy, and Silas was sentenced to life imprisonment, languishing in the darkest depths of the Mage Seekers' compound for fifteen years, forced to wear shackles made of heavy magic-dampening petrocyte. Robbed of his arcane sight, his heart turned as hard as the stone that bound him. He dreamed day and night of vengeance on all those who put him here. It became so that a young volunteer from the Illuminators, named Luxana, began to visit him. Even with his shackles, Silas recognized her as a powerful mage, and over time the two forged an unusual and secretive bond. In exchange for Silas's knowledge of the control of magic, Lux educated him about the world outside his cell, and brought him whatever books he desired, including a tome that held the original writings of the great sculptor Durand. Detailing his work with Petrocyte, 
It revealed what Silas had theorized to be true. Damasia was built upon a lie. Petrosite did not suppress magic. It absorbed it. Damasia was founded upon the world's largest depository of stored magic. And if this power was held within the Petrosite, Silas wondered, could he release it? He would need a source of magic to test this theory. A source like Luxana. And he would have his chance to take it. The young maid would never visit him again. As her family found out about her dealings with Silas, being of the Crown Guard, they scolded Luxana and were furious with her. Without explanation, it was arranged for Silas to be hanged. At the gallows, Luxana appeared to plead for her friend's life, though her pleas fell on deaf ears. As the hangman pulled Silas through the crowd, he managed to brush against Luxana with his change. As he predicted, her power rushed into the Petrasite shackles, ready for him to unleash. With the stolen magic, Silas blasted his way free, sparing only the terrified young crown guard, whispering to her. I am sorry, little light. Silas left the Mage Seeker compound not as an outcast, but as a new, defiant symbol of the broken and persecuted in Demacia. He now travels the kingdom in search of exiled mages, building his following and readying the rebellion and revolution soon to be. He will topple the throne of Demacia and forge a new path forward for the mages of Demacia.